So I've got the wiring roughed in here for you on the batteries uh, underneath the seat. I rewired things here. Um, so this is the green, meaning that the boat power is on. You turn it so it's straight up and down. The red, that means boat power is off. So uh, this is the fuse for the boat power. And the ground is just tied together there. So those wires get their power off of this junction block. That's where they go underneath the floor and come out here. And then they go to this set of leads that I put in. So I have these two tied together. These are gonna go to battery one positive. This other light black lead is going to go to battery one negative. So that will be your house battery. That'll power up the boat. And then from there, if you take the jump lead that comes in the uh, in the E-Drive kit, there's actually two jumpers in there that are about a foot long, so positive and negative. And I have this diagram here that hopefully makes sense. So this is house battery. So the power from the junction block is that coming up to battery one positive the negative off that goes to battery one negative um, so that's your house power and also then battery one is your start of the system so it's going to come off battery one to the breaker and then your motor lead is going to attach to here that is a 10 millimeter nut so with the breaker in that position, that means it's tripped. To lock it back in, just push that over. And that will connect the motor back to the system. When you want to trip it again, just push the red button. And the little yellow arm pops out. Um, so again, in the E-Drive kit, you've got the one-foot jumper. So you're going to go from negative on one to positive on two and then jump from negative on two to positive on three, and then take the uh, the long jump lead that has the circuit breaker in it and use one end of it with the eyelet terminal that's on it, and then attach one of these other eyes that I'm giving you here to the other end to make your third jumper between battery three negative over to battery four positive. And then off of battery four, you will then hook your motor negative lead and they can go out if you're, I think there's long enough that you can probably fish them through this grommet here and then down in the transom. Um, and then for your solar, I assume you said it was, it was a 48 volt system. So you're gonna go from just the same position here, uh, battery one positive, to battery four negative so this is the layout you know facing the back of the boat battery one battery two battery three and battery four um, so really again you don't have to get into here you don't have to do anything underneath the seat you know up above here it's all just right in this compartment hook the motor lead to the other side of the breaker here and then go ahead and jump across all the batteries to battery four uh, motor lead negative so should be pretty straightforward um, there's a bag of screws here to mount the battery trays because I didn't do that yet um, so you really only need um, one of these extra eyes here but I'll give you two so you have them and uh, if you have any questions let me know I'll leave that uh, diagram right in the back there I did drill the transom so that should be all set and the holes are oversized uh, one size so it should be easy to line up the motor um, just grease up the steering rod and uh, other than that you should be good to go